being a father, you always think you're supposed to be the protector, and there was nothing I could do. I had leukemia, and from that moment on, my life was changed forever. It strips you bare when you go through something that difficult and that challenging. I felt pretty helpless. While I was still on treatment, the front door was open because it was a hot summer night. My dad thought he saw something, so he gets into the kitchen. There's an owl sitting on our kitchen counter, and it looks over at my dad, and then instantly get up, gets up and flies straight into my room. They run into my room and turn the light on, and there I am still fast asleep, and the owl is perched on my shoulder. My dad woke me up. He picked it up with his two hands and carried it outside and let it go, and it just flew away so peacefully. It was almost like he just came to say hello. When the owl comes into your life, he's either there to take your spirit to God or he's there to heal your spirit of everything that's wrong with it. And I think the owl spirit came and healed me that night. Gowns Without Bounds is through Art Alicard, and it's just a, a program where, you know, I remember being in the hospital, my son being in the hospital, those stale blue gowns. It's just a way to express and have some options and, and have fun with it. And they get all these amazing artists and amazing people, and they turn these hospital gowns into something special and, and that you can wear with pride. How can you wear that gown and still have any sense of pride or feel better about yourself? I know that Del said, I never want to put another one of those gowns on. Yet last year, where was he? Gowns Without Bounds. And he wore his gown very proudly. So did every single person up there. So, And it gives you a moment to step out of that mindset of, I'm sick, to, I want to create something beautiful. To be able to turn it into something beautiful or have the opportunity to design it yourself and just have fun with it, just to take that opportunity is a great thing. Instead of the gown controlling the patient, the patient now got to control the gown. It's an ability to help families go on. I can probably never say thank you enough times to the people that helped save my son. When you do hear of a story like Dallas where he felt like other people gave to him and now he's full of giving, it just warms your heart. You don't know that you're making a difference in somebody's life. He brought a little piece of artwork home. It's what got us started when I was younger. And I framed that piece of artwork and I hung it in my office. And every day people would say, oh my God, Jen, where'd you get that? Dallas made it for me. Something that I'm very proud of. It has a story behind it. Helping others and helping the kids is the most important thing in my entire life. If no one did that for me, I wouldn't be here today. And that's when we decided we need to give back. And we just try and give back to as many different charities and stuff as we can. Kids Caring Kids was started by Dal. We just take art, we let the kids do the art, we let the kids present the art. It's surprising how a eight-year-old could draw a piece of art and then we can sell it for a thousand dollars and we always put that back with the organization that we're working with. Art a la carte is a fantastic organization. I utilized it as a kid when I was in the hospital myself. That's where Dells first met Art a la carte and had them come in and, and help him with his art skills. It's a really special organization and they're doing a great thing. Art a la carte, what you do when you come into those hospitals Bringing that ray of sunshine, bringing that smile to my son's face, to see him laugh, to see him enjoy the normalcy that we take for granted every day. Those are the things that they bring. I love working with the kids, working with the organizations. It's given me, actually gave me more than what I gave them. So it's given me just happiness. After going through what I went through, you just feel that you know that you need to help others because it's the right thing to do.